what's up guys so today I'm going to film a video on a video for you today on something that one of my friends requested shout out to you Essie thank you for requesting this because it was a good fucking idea and I'm gonna do it so as you probably know if you're in the makeup community you know that Colourpop just launched um, like 21 of glosses 21 glosses of their ultra glossy whatever formula <laughs> And so usually I go back and forth between do I like glossy lips, do I not, do I rather have a matte lip because glossy lips, I feel like glossy lips look so pretty on people that have big lips. That's just any lipstick in general. I feel like if you have big lips like Kylie lips, it just looks like fucking perfect. And sometimes I feel like when you have small lips, lipsticks just don't look, they don't look as flattering. And so recently, I guess because it's summer, I don't know what it is, but... I have been wanting to branch out into glosses. I really want to try Kylie's glosses because, oh my god, they're so pretty. I'm going to do a swatch video for you of the four shades that I picked up from the ColourPop collection of the glosses. Um, I picked up like, two cream formulas and two sheer formulas. So I did briefly try these briefly when, because I'm sure if you love makeup, you know that once you get a package in, even if you have no makeup on, you will put whatever makeup came in the mail, you will try it. If you've never tried it, you will go and try it on immediately. I had no makeup on at all. Bare face, no mascara, no nothing. And these came in the mail and it was like 8 o'clock at night. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm fixing to just wipe these on my lips real quick. So I briefly tried them, but obviously that's not really a good impression because obviously when you have no makeup on, you can't just put a lipstick on and be like, oh yeah, that's fire. No, it has to like come together. So I am going to show you the four shades that I got. I'm going to swatch them on my lips. And yeah, um, if you want to see this video, please keep watching um, and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Love you guys. Bye. So the first shade that caught my eye when I was looking when they like released all the colors and like what colors are going to look like in swatches and stuff. This was the first one that stood out to me because I don't have any glosses that are just just a neutral, nudie gloss, like a sheer gloss. I don't have anything like it. So I was like, yes, I need this in my life. It's not too pink. It's not too brown. It's just basically, it just makes your lips look shiny. And I was like, that's what I need. So this is in the color Fairy Floss. It looks like this, and it is the most prettiest neutral color I have ever seen. And yeah, we're just going to give it a whirl. And like I said, I have, I've tried these briefly, but I haven't actually like gave it the full effect with my makeup on. So, and I do kind of, I don't have any lip letter on, but my nips, my nips. Mm, no. See, it's like not even any really, I'm going to keep applying, but it's not really any color. It's just so pretty and nudie. It's just like awkward because it's like silence and it's just like, it's not cute. I'd rather have some like fucking jams in the background and just like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You know what you'd rather see. So yeah. This is cute. So this is Fairy Floss and this one is so pretty. It's like I said, it's just like a wash of color. It's not even color. It's just like glossy perfect perfection it's not sticky like you know sometimes when you get like that really nasty globby stuff when you like tear apart your lips and it's just not a good time yeah I don't see that so that is a good sign so what I'm gonna do is so pretty I wasn't even I didn't even like notice this one out of the bunch until I watched um what is her name? I think her name's Shay on YouTube. God, I'm gonna have to find it. Hold on. Oh, that girl Shay XO. This is her right there. I don't know if you see. And she did a swatch video. And like I said, I, I didn't even notice this one out of the bunch. I don't know how I missed it. But it's another sheer formula and it's called Abu. She did a swatch video and she um, swatched this one. I was like, that is so pretty. Like, I didn't know how I missed it. 
Like, I didn't know how it didn't stand out to me because it is a nude, but it has pink in it. It's like a peachy pink nude, and it's sheer, so it's not, like, going to overpower you with, like, color. And a lot of times, glosses, I don't like them to have, like, a lot of pigment. Like, the Gerard Cosmetics ones, it was pigment, but it was just, like... It was trying to be a lipstick and a gloss at the same time, if you know what I mean, and it just was too, too much. So I really like, so far I like the sheer formulas. But anyways, off topic. Yeah, these are just, these are the formula that I'm like looking for in a gloss. And this color is just like, could you die? So anyways, let me stop talking and let me just swatch it for you. Could you die? Or could you die? It's kind of like fairy floss. It just has a little more, little bit more color in it. A little bit more like pink in it. Peachy pink. But it's still a glossy gloss. It's still neutral. You know the one thing that I hate about gloss? While we're talking about how much I love these glosses. Is when your hair gets in it. Like I hate... <laughs> That's what I like about matte lipsticks versus glosses is a gloss, anytime your hair flies anywhere near your face, it manages to get on your lips. So. And if I'm going to have a gloss, I want it to be like a gloss, like juicy lips. Yes. This one is a boo and oh my god, I can't decide if this one or fairy floss is my favorite because fairy floss is just like, like I said, a neutral. And this one has a lot of pink in it, but it's still sheer. I don't know, but it's so, it's so pretty. I, oh my God, I can't. I don't know how to react in videos to this shit. Like when I'm not recording, I'm this bitch, work. But then when I get on my video, I'm like, should I do that or should I do that? You know what I'm saying? Like you feel all this pressure online to be a certain way when you just want to be yourself. That is totally off topic. I'm gonna move on from that. And, oh my god, I can't even deal. Oh my god. And this, with this makeup look, it's just like. The next shade is um, the first cream formula I'm going to show you. I'm going to stick with the neutral, just because we're kind of going in, in like a neutral fashion. So yeah, but this one is called Bestie. And this one is a cream formula. And this just means it's more um, it has more pigmentation into it, so if you like more like the sheer glosses, I would stick with the two that I just showed you. But yeah, um, and this one's kind of like um, like a rosy pink. That's how I would describe it. It's a neutral. It's not even neutral. It's it's got a lot of rose in it, a rosy pink. So if you don't want something so sheer or so um, pale or just neutral, this is definitely like a pretty everyday color. So I'm just going to swatch that for you. See what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? That is so pretty. And this one's, this is a good color if you don't like with the other glosses, how they're sheer. If you, like, with those, if you didn't want just gloss, like you wanted like a lipstick and then you wanted the gloss over top, these are good because you don't have to do that. It's just straight color and it's straight gloss, so it's kind of all you need in a lot. Here is Bestie, and like I said, this one is a cream formula, and it's a lot thicker, but it's not like, it's still not sticky by any means, which is awesome, because like I said, you get some that are so pigmented that it makes them sticky, and so this one is really pretty, it's just, um, this would be good, like, if you're going like, on a job interview or something, and you wanted some color to your lips, but you didn't want to, like, overbear it, so yeah, and then... I don't know which one I like better if I like the cream or the sheer. Probably the sheer just because sometimes I don't wear a lot of lipstick. And so sometimes I just want like a gloss on. I don't want like color on it. But this one is really pretty. Like oh my gosh. I don't realize how much I love this one. Last but definitely, definitely not least, is another cream formula. And this beautiful thing. Oh my god. I just want to look at it in the tube. It's just so pretty. It just reminds me of like... Uh, I don't know, like a summer popsicle, strawberry, daiquiri, I don't know, I don't know, but it is so pretty. Like, just looking at the tube. 
Let's have a moment of appreciation for it. Okay, we're done. So this is Tokyo Tea and it is another cream formula. So it is going to give off more pigment on the lips. Are you kidding me? Let's come back to earth. This is so pretty. And like I said, when I tried these on with no makeup on, I was like, girl, I don't know if I'm gonna like these. But then I'm like, I'm sitting here trying it with a naked mole rat as a face. How do I expect to like anything like that? Let's talk about this color. Do I really need to say anything though? Do I really need to say anything though? It kind of speaks for itself. This might be my new favorite thing of life. Now I will say normally with glosses, if I have like any, I really don't like darker color glosses because I feel like, not necessarily darker, but brighter colors, like more standout colors because I feel like they can bleed um off your lips and then or if you get it in your hair and your hair gets on your face it's obviously going to show up versus if you just have like a nude gloss you don't really it's not a big deal so they're a little more maintenance but they're so worth it this color i'm telling you and this is the perfect color for spring and summer this is just like can you imagine just like bronzy skin like big lashes highlight and then this on that on top yes between the shears and the creams I th I don't know which one's my favorite because the creams they give off a really pretty color to your lips but the shears the shears are my favorite in the way that I could wear them every day and be fine be comfortable creams are something like if I want like if I want you to know I'm wearing gloss and I'm like in your face, yeah, I love the cream. I feel like I'm contradicting myself. It came down to it, the shears, I definitely suggest the creams are just as pretty and the creams, they just have more color to them. So it depends on what you're looking for. If you want like a gloss, like just a glossy gloss, I would go with the shears. If you want like a colorful gloss, I would go with the creams. That is my final thoughts on these glosses. I don't know what's in stock and if any of these are in stock, to be honest with you, because like, as soon as they came out, I was like, I like ordered them really quick and then I never looked back. <laughs> so, I probably will be ordering more just whenever I have money to spend because right now we're fixing to go on a trip. So, uh, mama's don't got a lot of money to spend right now. So, yeah, if I ever have some money to spend, I will definitely be getting more of these. And yeah, uh, so far my review is that I love them. They're not sticky, they're not tacky, they're just right, they're creamy, they're glossy. They're everything you could want in a gloss. Uh, they're six bucks, so what more could you want in a gloss? Not sticky, not tacky, not expensive. Thank you. I will take all of them. That is my review slash swatch video. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know down below if you want to see anything else because I am all about suggestions. Like, I love hearing your guys' suggestions. I'm all about it. So, yeah, leave it down below. Hit that subscribe button so we can get to a 500 subscriber giveaway. And yeah, I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye. Guys, that is the end of this video. This is the finished look. Um, this does take longer if you're trying to like, if you're in a hurry.